Hello. Um, I'm going to be doing this for the first time of recording what I'm making for dinner. And I'm going to use my phone, so if it's a little shaky, please bear with me. But I'm going to give this a shot this time and see how well it goes. Tonight is um, a late night for Scott and Michael. They don't get off work till 8. They're usually not home till 8.30. And we're usually not eating dinner till close to 9 p.m. And on late nights, I don't really like to cook a big meal um because i have to still clean it up if you can hear my cat she's in heat please just ignore her um so tonight i'm going to be making potato soup with ham i'm going to serve it up with some dinner rolls with some honey butter and it's very simple and um i'm going to make a lot of it so we have leftovers or if one of the guys want to take it for lunch it's there and um in just a couple minutes we'll get started first let me go through the food or the the stuff i'm using um for the potatoes i'm going to be using the green giant golden idaho because these potatoes have a very thin skin and um you can rinse them off and just dice them up and these potatoes will look will work fine without being um skinned peeled what am i saying skinned peeled um Obviously, I'm going to be using some ham to put in the potato soup. I bought two of these. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be using. I might use just one or one and a half or maybe both. I'm not sure, but I will let you know on that. Um, also, they didn't have organic milk at, the gro at this grocery store in my town, so I just grabbed a half gallon of some vitamin D milk. I have some milk in my fridge. I just want to make sure I had enough. Um, I seasoned it up with garlic. I thickened my potato soup up with instant mashed potatoes. This was a trick from my grandmother, and it works great. Um, an onion for the soup, a um, little bit of butter, and some green onions to top the soup, and also some cheese that we have um, to um, go on top of the soup. The cheese is still in the fridge. So let me get started. Okay, so I diced up a whole bunch of those potatoes and the big soft boss sized onion. And I'm going to be using this pot. Um, I'm using this one because it's deep and big and it, will, it has a lid and I can store it straight in the refrigerator from that pot. So just take your stuff, take your potatoes, get them in the pot. I like using a bench scraper, as you can see break them on there I'm doing this one-handed so bear with me I don't have a tripod here in the kitchen get your onion you can just mix that right on in all of it needs to go into the pot um, I don't have a tripod in the kitchen I mean I could have brought it down here but um, I'm just kind of doing this my way tonight I didn't really think first I just thought that it would be easy to do it from the um, um, pot and I've got it all in there now and what you're going to want to do is fill it with water just to the top of those potatoes not much over now you can see how far to fill it up I still got quite a bit of room in the pan and you want to get it on your stove and you want it to be on high I got this on eight so you're going to let this come to a boil and then we will do the rest so I'll be back in a few minutes when this is cooking away okay so it's boiling now this is a soft boil and the potatoes are tender um, but they're not mushy um, so now I'm going to go ahead and as you see that you know there's still plenty of room I'm going to turn down the heat and I'm going to add sorry about the steam I'm going to add a lot of milk and there's no precise measurement I like to add quite a bit so I'm gonna I use almost a half gallon in this um, give a little more um, and then I'm going to take a big wooden spoon this one ain't so big but it'll work oops not that one that's for sure it's hard doing this with one hand um, let's see there we go and I'm gonna stir it up I think it already looks good um, and then we will add <clears throat> now I'm using about two tablespoons of garlic powder we're gonna add that in we're gonna add in a large piece of butter about that big about fourth of a cup of butter 
a bunch of salt because this is a big pot you just I'm kind of just eyeballing it but I'll figure it out I'll taste it we're gonna add some pepper that's plenty I have a big pot I'm also going to add the um, instant mashed potatoes right on top not a big deal we'll mix it all in, in a second and I'm going to go ahead right on top of that and mix in the ham the diced ham that's prepackaged if you had ham in your freezer from a meal dice it up and use that in here and then we're going to stir it all up I'm thinking I will put the other package of ham in here so here it is and in it goes there we go and stir again now I have a very full pot of soup here that's a lot of potato soup but we all love it and um, you will just let this thicken up on its own now if it's not thick enough or thick as you would like it then you would add your other um, instant potatoes um, to it and I probably will um, but right now I'm going to let it thicken up on its own and let it cook away but that my friends is going to be a great great dinner great so I will be back when I'm um, when I'm plating this up actually bowling it up but that's not the term um, you would use and show you how I put it on the table and get it served have a great night okay let's serve it up it's super easy and I'm just gonna ladle some Let me move my bowl a little closer since I'm doing this one-handed and I'm just gonna label some and two the bowl okay I'm gonna serve it up I'm gonna add some cheese to mine I'm gonna use white cheese we have yellow too but my husband likes yellow I like white um, add some cheese I a lot then I'm going to top it with some pretty green onions and I'm going to serve it with a warm dinner roll and that my friends is what's on the menu for tonight so if you're looking for a really good warm bowl of soup um, this will be an amazing dinner for your family it's um, thick and creamy and yeah really really good so hope you give it a try if you have any questions you can email me at mrs keisha jaggers at gmail.com um, you can also make this and leave a video response and if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to find me on twitter have a great night